Welcome back to another episode of Graphic Design and this week we'll be creating out some designs for our Children's Day special and we'll be working on two designs. The first design is simplified which is formed by the combination of few basic shapes. So we'll be working out on creating few designs which is going to be uh, very fun while the other design is a poster for which we'll be going through some uh, few steps uh, which is in depth so we'll look at that later on. So first let's look at our first design. We'll start our first design with a basic shape. So we'll first create out the basic shape, few basic shapes, and using that we'll be creating out the whole design. So it's we're going to be fun. So I'll start with the rectangle tool and left click your mouse button here and uh, let's give the width and height around. Let's first of all let's give 70 by 70, the our first one. And click OK. And let's give it some uh, color like that. So we got this uh, square. Now so we'll just break, uh, delete one point from here, anchor point, and we got this nice triangle. In the same way, I'll just duplicate this one more. So we got, we need two triangle like this with the same measurement. So let's uh, change the color to something else, and this one let's uh, give it some different color, like orange. Maybe this one like blue, like that. Now next thing, we need to create one more triangle but that should be the half of this triangle. So I'll just left click my mouse button and first time I put 70, this time I put around 35 and in the same way here 35 and click OK. So we got this on the triangle so make a triangle, delete the point from here and we got this small triangle here. Just place it around here and let's uh, give some uh, color like purple and let's duplicate this one more. Uh, give it around some different color like uh, red maybe or oh, maybe different orange or green green will be good and let's uh, create one square so the square should be the height of this so same 35 by 35 and let's keep it like that and we'll duplicate this square and let's uh, give this square a uh, red color maybe or maybe dark red or maybe dark red anything like that in the same way we select this and this one so we'll shear this into 45 degree angle so right click transform shear and let's give it to minus 45 and click ok so we got this so how many shear we have got one two three four five six and last we need to create is another triangle which is going to be the shape between the sizes between these two triangles the smaller and the large so we got this 70 this is uh, 35 so let's uh, create something in between around 49 or 50. So let's create that out. So I'll give this around. That's 49 by 49. And OK. And make this into triangle again. And this one, let's fill this up with certain different color. Like uh, let's choose it. So what we'll do next is we'll use all these seven shapes and create out some uh, design. So first I'll just keep this here and create out the our first design, duplicate this and I'll use this shape. So first of all I'll just create out our first design. So I'll just keep like this, this one, um, I can make like this, this one and I'll just attach it. And let's create our, our whole body. So I'll use this and bring it up and attach it to here like this properly. Let's zoom it in, work it out and place it properly. I'll use the other piece for here. I'll just bring this this one and place it around here like that. Maybe. And maybe I'll uh, choose the opposite side like that. Let's do this. Okay, like this and I'll bring in one more shape here to uh, maintain that so I'm using all these shapes and create out uh, some designs so let's bring it in and place it here attach it here and we got a nice shape see now uh, we have used these shapes and create out this let's create a few more so I'll just duplicate this one more and let's create out our second design so that's a uh, read this and let's see okay that's attached so let's look it out okay that's looking good so we got the other design shape let's uh, do the correction 
resume. So let's create our uh, third design. So I just duplicate this, bring it down. This one, I'll place it around here. This, let's see. Now last piece, just attach this here, like the tail, so we got this shape, like this. Maybe we can do some changes here, uh, if I rotate this. And this one, here. Like that, and let's attach it okay now now let's create a food design so i just bring it this in and uh this one i'll just read this to like this and i'll just attach it this one around here let's attach it like that now i'll create the, use this and use this for head so let's rotate this to a certain angle like this let's rotate it one more time and i'll just place it at the tip like that got our final design let's do the placements so for a while place this around here and draw the line segment from the center so like this and I'll just give some thickness let's increase the thickness like this maybe 30 and let's duplicate this control C control F and rotate it to like this with the shift pressed and let's keep it along this like that this one let's uh, fix it along the edge and let's create some boundary here so I'll use the rectangle tool then create a rectangle here and let's in, uh, put it inside so go to stroke and like inside stroke like that so you got this and now let's place this inside so first of all that's fine let's place this Control g and i'll just bring this in and place it around here and i'll just scale this up a little bit according to size and place it here in the same way all of them let's increase the little bit size and Control g bring it in place it here Now let's do some details so I'll create some uh, box here like that and I'll just give it some black color and I type out a text DESI caps lock on DESIG and design and I just fill this up with uh, white color and place it there in the center okay now let's scale it down a little bit and okay that's fine Control G and I just place this around here and scale it down according to the frame size and text uh, let's check it out with the text fonts like that okay that's fine and let's move around like that double click outside now I'll just duplicate this alt drag place it there Duplicate this with a shift and alt press just click and drag and place it there So we got this nice detail now. Let's work out with our further design. So I just create out a rectangle on top and Fill it up with white color on top of the X. I type out some D E S I G N for Fun this is for fun and this one now let's scale this up a little bit and I'll bring in here and let's play around with the font size and the font so let's check it out design and this one I'll fill this up with the opacity go to transparency and reduce the opacity to 80% let's check it out and uh, maybe 70 and we get some stroke color maybe black and you can see it 
in gray tone so with the thickness 0.25 and you can see some light thickness here so it's looking good this one I'm going to put it in center so let's replace it in the center like that and let's play around with the font so let's choose the proper font for this design I choose the font from here let's check it out and we can uh, go in there and work on our steps further if you need it we can do these changes and the most important part is this we have created all these out with the basic shapes seven basic shapes just try out a few more and let me know um we'll create the poster design in the next video hope you're enjoying this designing series don't forget to check out the next designing video coming up and if you want more updates on designing you can press the subscribe button thank you